I don't know how many times I've said this in the past few videos, but this is going to be a different video and actually a lot different. I guess I'm going back to my commentary days kind of, but it's a bit related to what's currently on my channel. So there's a village in like just south of the border of the city of Chicago and I have to say it is literally a reality TV show down there. Maybe it could be like Parks and Rec or Abbott Elementary, I don't know. Except since this is real life, it has real life consequences going out down there. And historically, and as of right now, has a 20% poverty rate. And things are starting to get worse because a lot of people got scammed Logan Paul style in the 2021 municipal election that year. The municipality I'm talking about is Dalton, Illinois. I started to notice this area when I heard about the current mayor, as of today, passed a salary ordinance. And it basically means if someone were to run against her and win, the salary would be cut 90%. She currently earns 224000 If the next person wins, they'll only earn 25 k That is wild, dude. Corruption at its finest. The first time I actually heard about this mayor was actually when a person wanted to host a car show in one of the parks, Needles Park to be exact. It got shot down because the mayor didn't want them to have it at that park unless, on one condition, it has to be at an event that she's holding at. You, and you'll notice the pattern like throughout this whole story here that it's practically all about her, pretty much. That was actually the first time I heard about this mayor, but it all came back to me once I saw this post here. The Sally Ordinance is just wild for the township to be exact because she's currently earning 220k around there. Next person takes over that gets cut like about 90%. Yes like I heard like statements that Yamni Park has been saying about the United States and comparing to like it's becoming like North Korea and that comes from censorship, false information that they're spreading, distrust, Government aid? I don't see any government aid happening here, so... Crime, of course. Like, honestly, her statements, I feel like she kind of lacks critical thinking. And, like, can you actually blame her, though? Like, after you coming out of, like, in such a to total Larian state, to the point where you feel like you don't even know what's what anymore? Like, I can't entirely blame her, honestly. Like, don't get me wrong, though. Like, America does have problems regarding all those, but it's, in short, far from that, honestly. Because let's be honest, people are still free to have their own opinion and stuff like that. And like her statements, it's like, just don't exist, basically. Like everything has consequences at the end of the day, you know? But okay, let me go back topic. Thornton Township. It's crazy. It's an actual dictatorship, honestly. Like she's right about one thing. Some aspects, or at least maybe as a whole, could become like North Korea that township in general or maybe even the whole country in general i'll be honest but that's only if other entities don't act like look at venezuela for example i actually wrote this in like not too long ago and yet so much has happened and the fbi are finally getting into it oh my god i don't know that clapping sounds weird but yeah So, who is the mayor of Dalton as of today? Because I refuse to say her name because I, I like, fuck you. According to the Village website, she's a lifelong resident of Dalton, Illinois. And she graduated from Thornridge High School with the highest honors, had a successful collegiate career at Robert Morris University. And after her academics, she became trustee for almost a decade and became mayor just recently and they had to put down how much she won by because you know fuck her ops i guess yeah on the other hand it's also good information to know that she won by that amount because it shows that 81 percent of people got scammed it's like the biggest scam in history like i always hear people with higher education degrees like doing the most controversial stuff particularly if they're from this country here like Derek Chauvin with the George Floyd incident or Jason Van Dyke with the McDonald incident. Like ideally, I think that an officer should be required to have a bachelor's degree in order to become a police officer. Of course, not right away because they're short staff. But if these people have 
a bachelor's degree and are still doing fucked up things. This is proof that maybe our education system is not the best. Like, oh my god. I prefer public slash private education over homeschooling, but it's highly flawed at the moment. And it's fucked. And ever since she came into office, she's pretty well known for using taxpayer money and for something for her own gain. In short, a lack of transparency between like her and her administration and the citizens of Dalton. When it comes to like money going around, like for example, the namesake cancer charity. Like I said, so much news has been happening the past freaking month that I heard this basically had to get shut down or like canceled or like suspended because it, it failed to meet financial disclosure requirements. And why do you gotta put your name on a freaking charity? It's just a charity going to like everyone's cause that that's suffering for that cause. I, like, w w what? Like, one of the most common things she uses the taxpayer's money for is traveling and fine dining. Basically, every social media TikTok user. A reporter asked her, like, questions regarding what she used the money for, and she denied the use of funds in order to get these luxurious trips. Oh, yeah, and she's not a good liar. You could tell on the face that. Some of those charges are for you, though. No, sir. You didn't go to Las Vegas? Mm. What is that? No comment. You don't know if you were in Las Vegas? Of course I do. Were you? It's not paid by them. Did you fly first class to Las Vegas? Any other questions? Around 20000 is being used for fine dining. And 67000 being used for traveling. That money could have been used for something else, honestly. The village poverty rate is 20%. The city of Chicago is 17.2. It's one thing for the third largest city to have a poverty rate above the national level, which is 11.5. But seeing that in municipality is just sad and just shows how incompetent they are. I mean, I know it's not entirely their fault because, you know, white flight, once colored people started going into the inner ring suburbs, people started sprawling out even more. But it's sad that most people don't get listened to. There are people that want to improve a commercial area but gets shut down via retaliation. Like, people here can't have nice things like it's a freaking dictatorship. Like, she, it feels like she's being attacked everywhere. And yeah, what I mean by dictatorship, she has like Security detailed all surrounded by her, and I don't know why every dictator's gotta call themselves like Super Mayor Tiffany A. Henry, the people's mayor. If you want to compare a municipality that is closest to North Korea, it's gotta be Dalton, Illinois. Why? Because the objection against the village administration, politically especially, will lead to law enforcement coming after you. This comes from a guy's trucking company being barred, someone can't host their car show that they handle annually, or a strip mall, like I mentioned, like being denied renovations for some reason. Something that brings a community together, but no, it really brings her together and everyone gets fucked over. The narcissism that this mayor all has just literally screams dictatorship. When you see North Korea chi or China, you see a bunch of portraits everywhere. And when it comes to Thornton Township, especially Dalton, there's billboards of her everywhere. And it's the same shit that you see in North Korea or China. Like, I won't be surprised that if you, like, well, honestly, if you tag, like, shit like that, regardless, you're gonna get some fine of some sort. But I'm pretty sure you'll actually generally get prison time there. Here's the thing, though. These billboards cost a lot of money. And not just a lot of money, taxpayer money. $22,000 to be exact, around there. And that's how you know it is basically a corrupt communist state. Like, I, I generally don't get the billboards. Like, I get it if it's election season, but it's not election season. It's the season of trying to serve your community. Her personality is more like a social media influencer. Like, you see on her TikToks, it, it, she acts like she cares about all of the villagers of Dalton. But it's not really the case. And like, she literally screams the same energy as Barack Obama from the boondocks. Uh, please check on your neighbors during this time of need because you never know who may need your help. And, and what's going to get us through this difficult time? Sharing. Sharing? Lending a helping hand to a neighbor in their hour of need. No, a neighbor. What we need is a cure. And once again, she really got to call herself the people's mayor, the super mayor. We've seen it already in like China or North Korea. The People's Republic of China, the Democratic People's Republic of Korea. We, we see the pattern here. If it's for the people, according to the title, it's not for the people. 
It also screams a corrupt communist state, especially when you know how in North Korea, Kim Jong Un is living a lavish, luxurious life, especially the people that are like associated with him while everyone's suffering from starvation. This is kind of what Dalton is. It's kind of like Carabelle, Georgia. And I don't mean to be a Brett Cooper or a Ben Shapiro or Destiny, but the reason why I wanted to mention this is it's still kind of in a way related to urban planning. I wanted to make something else, but this was something that I could not look away from. And I'm saying this because this was once a prosperous village. It used to have like a lot of jobs, a good school system actually, and especially good retail. Now look at their retail now. Yeah, because just like how white flight happened in the city, it started happening again in the inner ring suburbs because one reason, not a lot of white people wanted to live with colored people. And not only that, colored people were neglected. And it's just sad to see this vicious cycle that keeps happening. When another African-American or like whoever that's not white comes into office, they, they they fuck their people over for some freaking reason. Like, I, like, why? This is not what MLK wanted. Every day that passes, more news comes out regarding this whole story. And this includes finally the FBI actually trying to reach out to see what is going on. And also, I heard she started a new podcast. Like, this could work well, or this could really backfire. I hope it backfires. Like, I feel like this is literally, like, incriminating herself over here. One of my final thoughts here is I hate the fact, and I'm not even gonna deny it at this point, like, I, I am. I am, like, slightly on the left from, like, most things, but I don't care what political party you are. Why am I the only liberal talking about this? Because at the end of the day, I just want a system that freaking works. Like, I may not agree with, like, most people on the right. I, I can't believe I sound like every political commentator. I'm trying not to be one. But, I mean, like, overall, they still do make good points. But on the other hand, we should all look and focus more on our people instead of gangs, factions, stuff like that, parties. Because that's how you make a, at, at this point, you don't really, you just want whatever the party wants, even if it means destroying society. Like, look at, like, there's, like, societies in Japan, like, they may be describing themselves as conservative, from what I've heard at least. They're one of the most thriving societies in, on this planet. And more liberal is like near like Scandinavia. I don't know if they're actually liberal, but if, if that's the case, maybe even Portugal. And their society's working. Why? Because they're n not corrupt, or at least not as corrupt as the United States. And of course, I know the United States far from Nigeria, or like Nigeria makes them look like an actual civilized society, or like North Korea especially. But at the end of the day, what I'm trying to say is. I don't care what political party you are. Everyone should be looking down on this. Like seriously, this is the wildest corruption I've ever seen in my freaking lifetime. And I just want to put a side note here, and mainly because I forgot to mention it in this commentary here, is that I know some people say that, especially her, said that y'all are against me because I'm black. Y'all should be ashamed of y'all stuff. Y'all black. Y'all are black. And y'all sitting up here beating and attacking on a black woman. Harold Washington was black. Barack Obama was black, and th they, in my opinion, did a good job in office. Then there's you. I honestly hate when people pull the freaking race card. Like, even I saw an article pulling the race card on Dorval Carter of the CTA. Cam Buckner could do a better job with the CTA, and he's black too, so don't pull the race card at all. This is why people have trouble trusting the government. Because, like, even if people have good intentions, they end up doing nothing or even doing worse. Like, pulling off a maneuver that ends up backstabbing the citizens. I understand why people are against congestion pricing. I feel like something could go wrong there. Like, in short, I'm for it. Because, literally, you got the most extensive transit system ever. But, on the other hand, I can see it going, like, the way Chicago sold their parking meters. Like, based on I just want to talk here, like, what the current mayor's, like, doing isn't fixing problems for the black communities, hurting them even more. It's like, like I said, this is not what MLK wanted, really. But I guess this this is what poverty does. When you're rich in your community and everyone's poor, you try to keep that status. And I guess corruption really is a cancer to society uh, otherwise. For real though, if you like it, go like it. If you dislike it, like it anyway. Hit the red button, follow the Twitter and Insta, I guess. But yeah, see you.